Hey guys, this is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com. Uh, Michael found a really cool application this morning. We figured we'd show you it. It's called WordLens. And it serves as sort of an augmented reality translation app. And we're heading to uh, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona later this year. And we were thinking, hey, what kind of application can we use to make our lives a little easier getting around the city by translating the text? It might help us uh, make sure we're going in the right places, getting on the right roads, etc. So this is called um, WordLens, like I said, and it has Spanish to English translation. Uh, and it can also translate English to Spanish. And there's also a free demo here that lets you reverse or erase words, just kind of show you how the augmented reality works. But uh, it's $4.99 for the language pack that uh, translates Spanish to English, and I did not buy the English to Spanish one. So what it does is it uses the camera on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. I have the uh, fourth generation here, so we have the camera on the back. And lets you hover over text to translate it. So here you can see it's kind of bouncing around there, but Alto is switching to high. So you can get the general gist of what you're looking at. Uh, now I have a bunch of images saved on my computer of Spanish signs and uh, I'm going to use this to show you how it works with translating them. Uh, generally I found that some work better than others but overall it's an impressive application that I think will really help people get around cities. And while it only supports Spanish to English and English to Spanish now, I wouldn't be surprised to see more languages come soon. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, here we are. We're going to look at some of these photos here. There's pictures of Spanish signs, and we'll see how well WordLens does a uh, translating them. I have it right here, so we'll bring it up, and it's bouncing around there a little bit, but you get the idea. No smoking, not smoke. Click the next image here. So you can see what's really cool is you can see the community dot there and community. And it doesn't replace the text, you know, with something different. It actually combines it with the sign with the green background and, and the white font there. So kind of cool. So it looks like it's struggling a little bit with future breasts, future moms. You get it. A little more complicated. Uh, the sign itself is, but you're getting danger right out of Peligro up there. And on the bottom, the offenders will be processed. So, pretty good. This one's having some problems with it. You can see it's bouncing all around. Perhaps it's the text size or the amount of information. So not that great with that one. There we go. It's taking some... doesn't seem to get that one in landscape mode, but you can see it's bouncing around there when we hold it in portrait. Pretty cool. And again, another sign where it just doesn't seem to get it right there. It could be the lighting on the actual photo, but you can see it's sort of just going nuts there. Airfield ahead, let's see if we can get this sign. I think we can see that it says you're not supposed to cross, or cross quickly. Um, but again, not that good of a job on that sign. It seems like these the simple signs work best here. This one's messing with the fingers there. Looks like it thinks those are words. Another poor example, but back on not smoke. So it looks like a lot of these ones with the darker text or the simpler signs are working best. A pretty neat application. We're planning on using it 
uh, when we head to Barcelona uh, later this year, but or next year actually. Uh, so this is Word Lens, and this is Todd Hazelton with MobileBurn.com.